Hello guys, uh, I'm back with the Flutter videos after so many days. So uh, this video contains about the function callbacks in Flutter. So first of all, we need to know what is a callback and how does it work. Uh, let me first introduce the uh, normal function, difference between the normal function and the callback. So basically what happens uh, in the normal function. So. Uh, so if you see in the normal function, uh, we just write the code uh, in the braces, right? So this is the function name or something. So uh, function name and it might have the parameters. Okay. So you will line certain line of code uh, in the uh, within the braces, right? So what happens in the callback? So callback is basically uh, is a function uh, that will that will be called after the process will be executed okay so just like if you are using the same function within the braces so if you declare the some other function such as n you are passing it uh, b so this is uh, the declaration basically so this is called after the uh, particular lines is executed okay and this definition can anywhere uh, that you can return in the file just you have to import and call this function okay so this can be in the same file and uh, the definition can be anywhere and the declaration uh, you have to give it. So basically the need of the callback is uh, is depend on the derived application uh, throughout the entire application we uh, might use other callbacks. So basically it works uh, normally like uh, just your uh, if you calling someone. So if, if we uh, didn't leave the phone, then you receive the callback that uh, the, this person is mind busy, please try again. So that is basically the callback. Okay. And uh, the another example is like uh, uh, whenever do you, you, uh, you do a transaction to the particular vendor. So uh, you receive the callback uh, after the transaction, you receive the callback of the success or reject uh, message. So that is basically your callbacks, uh, the transaction callback basically. So uh, the callback, that's why is needed to perform any, uh, you know, uh, what it is called like uh, a responsiveness to the user and uh, basically to uh, to interrogate with the user that uh, it will be called or not. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, you will be calling the function uh, it back. Okay. So after executing the certain process you you will calling back the function that you have written so let's understand uh, with the example so i uh, created uh, basically we are doing the transaction so i declared the total money uh, which i have in my account like 10000 and uh, i have uh, the shown the text field with the column so i have to create a, uh, a button uh, of pay okay so inside a pay button, uh, we should uh, receive the callback. Okay. So let's create the button widget. So I'm considering it's a stateful widget. Uh, button widget. Import. Okay. So this uh, button widget, we have to uh, pass uh, certain things. So let's give first of all this uh, the hint decoration. Let's give it const and the amount. And here I'm calling this button widget. So first of all, let me pass this. So we have to pass a certain things so just like amount. So amount uh, that you have to pay and uh, let's say a function okay so we are uh, calling this function uh, that will be received on the other side so let's say it's a callback and yep, it's having the parameter uh, you can also include the parameter just like um, calling, uh, calling back the amount as well so uh, uh, whenever user receives the success message then we will Print it out the success or reject message. Okay. So, okay. So uh, the amount and the callback that I have declared. So uh, in C the constructor, you have to require these parameters. So 
I'm making it required. I'm not uh, taking any validation. Uh, I hope you understand and you will do it. So it's a basic task that I'm giving you the understanding of the callbacks. So I would imported the button widget and as you see, uh, it, it gets the amount. So I'm having the amount of controller of text and callback. So basically callback, uh, just like amount and you have to uh, get this callback and you can write uh, whenever the, this call callback is called you will have the uh, messages displaying uh, to the user so whatever you want to display so let's create an elevated button let's see the parameters of on press and basically the child so the child simply pay text and the callback so callback i'm leaving it uh, up to your side uh, whatever you do the transaction way so do something uh, like payment gateway things you have to do the your uh, whatever your payment gateway uh, we do and uh, basically the callback function and it accept the uh, parameter if you leave it alone then uh, it might get uh, give error because i have declared to pass its string okay so as you see i have uh, passed the amount as well so this amount will be called back uh, uh, using the parameters so this parameter is reserved under here and uh, we have to display the callback to the user right uh, yeah i want to mention here because it's a stateful i mean stateless widget so we have to uh, set state it so basically the my app is a stateful but uh, uh we have to uh, you you know set state it because to refresh the amount i'm making only a validation uh let's say the validation of here you can make the validation if like uh, amount is not empty and you can pa parse it and uh, i have the rejection message uh, if user is paying uh, like a zero amount so that is a basic validation so i'm not uh, considering here and using only the empty message okay so the callback function uh so what we do in the callback function basically we deduct money uh, from the total money right so let's uh, minus it from the amount so in dot parse and amount okay so do not confuse the this uh, this amount is uh, received from the callback and the total money i have declared is statically 10000 right okay so uh, let's uh, debug print it so whether we see the total amount or not Okay, so we have done all the things of the callback. Let's restart the app and yep. Okay, so it shows the UI uh, like here. Okay, you might have the validation of the uh, user not empty. Let's check it out whether it's printing or not. Okay, so nothing prints. It means it's working. Okay, so amount is not empty right now. Amount is empty. Let's say I'm having a ten. You just pay it. Okay, so if you see from the ten thousand, it deducts uh, like a triple nine zero. So basically, ten is deducted. Okay, so you can have this message uh, if I press again, then it will also uh, have the callbacks. So whatever I return here. So hope you understand the callbacks. Uh, I created a stateless widget and pass the function and amount so uh, using this on press in the on press so i'm having the uh, callback declaration right here so this callback will be received here and we are doing certain things after processing the transaction okay so this uh, how the callback works okay so if you see uh, i'm paying 20 right now so 980 then and 60 
so it's working pretty well uh, hope you guys get it and uh, in next video let's understand how uh, block architecture works in flutter so i'm having a certain things uh, in the block so see you another video happy learning thank you